Hello Space Cats, I'm Dr Maggie Lou, and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever woken up in bed and somehow found that you've somehow moved so much that you no longer know which way is up? How do you think that astronauts aboard the ISS feel? In this week's video I'm going to be talking about which way is up, so let's start. When we're standing on the ground on Earth, it's clear that down is into the ground and towards the center of the Earth, and up is into the sky. It doesn't matter where you're standing on the Earth, up is always that way. And so it's expected that different people will have a different direction of up. My direction of up would be another person's direction of down if, for example, that person were living in, say, Australia. So in other words, my direction of up is defined within my local coordinate system. This coordinate system is known as the horizontal coordinate system, and it's defined by two numbers. Um, it's centered about each individual person. The altitude is the angle to an object as measured from the horizon to the zenith, the point directly overhead. And the azimuth is the angle to an object measured around the horizon clockwise from north. This coordinate system is designed to be what the observer sees, and so it's very popular among amateur astronomers. Many telescopes have an outer azimuth mount, which if you have one, you'll know how much of a pain it is to keep tracking the stars. This is because in this coordinate system, the location of the objects will change over time. And another caveat is that the coordinates will be different at different locations on the Earth. Going beyond Earth, let's imagine that you're an astronaut. Which way is up now? Now that there's no gravity, you might be tempted to think that there is no up. In fact, astronauts sleep standing and are just strapped down. But if you were to look outside of the space station, back down on Earth, maybe that would change your mind. In Coventry, where I'm from, we have a saying that Scottish people are from up north and Aussies are from down under. So why is it that people think the North Pole is up? The equatorial coordinate system is a coordinate system centered about the Earth. Again, it's governed by two numbers. The declination is the angle to an object as measured from the equator to the North Pole. This is also known as the celestial equator and the celestial North Pole. The right ascension is the angular distance to an object measured anti-clockwise around the celestial equator from the vernal equinox, the point at which the celestial equator meets the plane of our solar system, the ecliptic. The North Pole in the equatorial system is similar to the zenith point in our local coordinate system, so it's not wrong to think that the North Pole is up. The equatorial system has the advantage of being the same for each observer, and the location of stars change very little over time, and hence it's the preferred coordinate system for astronomical research. Now let's say that we observe the Earth from outside of the solar system. The Earth orbits around the Sun at 23.5 degrees from the ecliptic, the orbital plane around the Sun. So here, if up was still the North Celestial Pole, then up would mean the solar system looks like this. But we always draw the solar system like this. Well, we can also define another coordinate system, the ecliptic coordinate system. This can be either Earth-centered or heliocentric, centered around the Sun. This is constrained again by two numbers. The ecliptic latitude measures the angle to an object from the ecliptic towards the north ecliptic pole, essentially the sun's north pole. The ecliptic longitude measures the angular distance, again anti-clockwise, from the vernal equinox, but about the ecliptic plane. So in this coordinate system, you could say that the north ecliptic pole is up. Lastly, we could also have a galactic coordinate system, because the ecliptic plane is inclined at 60.2 degrees from the galactic plane. 
The galactic coordinate system, strangely enough, is not centered about the center of our galaxy. Instead, it's centered on the center of the sun. It has a galactic latitude measured from the galactic equator towards the galactic north pole and a galactic longitude measured anticlockwise from the direction of the galactic center. In this coordinate system, up would be the galactic north pole. That's a lot of information to process, but there you go. If anyone ever asks you which way is up, you can tell them it depends on what coordinate system they're asking about. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know below. And in the meanwhile, don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe.